Hello children, you might be aware that 28th February is celebrated as National Science Day in India. National Science Day is observed every year on 28th February in honor of Sir C. V. Raman's exceptional contribution to research and discovery. National Science Day is celebrated to spread message about the importance of science used in the daily life of the people, to display all the activities, efforts and achievements in the field of science for human welfare. It is celebrated to discuss all the issues and implement new technologies for the development in the field of science to give an opportunity to the scientific-minded citizens in India and encourage the people as well as popularize science and technology. The celebration also includes public speeches, science movies, science exhibition based on themes and concepts, debates, quiz competitions, lectures, science model exhibitions, and many more activities. Every year, this day is celebrated with a particular theme. Union Science and Technology Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh launched the theme of National Science Day 2022. The theme for this year is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Future. Now, let us meet our great scientist, Sir C. V. Raman. Hello friends, my name is Chandra Sekhara Venkataraman. You can also call me C. V. Raman. I was born in Tiruchirapalli in South India. My, my father was a professor in mathematics and physics. So I was also interested in those subjects. I feel extremely honored to have received the Nobel Prize in physics in the year 1930 on my work Scattering of Light. So. How many of you like to see the sunrise or sunset? I am sure all of you would love to see the beautiful colors, right? Let me explain you how this happens. Scattering of light means when the rays of light hits any obstacle like water vapor or dust, it gets deviated from their straight path. This gives rise to a beautiful phenomenon such as red shades of sunrise or sunset. Isn't it amazing? On the occasion of National Science Day, let us meet some of our well-known Indian scientists. Friend, my name is Homi Jahangir Baba. I was born on 30th October. 1909 in Parsi family in Mumbai. I am an Indian born nuclear physics. I am known as the father of the Indian nuclear program. I was the first chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission of India. My father's name was Jahangir Hormuzji Baba and he was a lawyer. My father and uncle wanted me to study engineering. I started my career in Britain. After returning back to India, I suggested to start ambitious nuclear program in India. I have made a major contribution on work like Compton, scattering, R process and development of nuclear physics. Thank you. I am a great scientist people's resident and a phenomenal teacher. My name is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I have been the driving force behind many cutting edge technologies in India, from satellite to local healthcare. My contribution will always be worthy of mention. When we talk of science and technology in India, at a time when India had hardly dreamed of its own satellite launch vehicle, SLV. My efforts and hard work for over a decade. It made it possible for us to develop our first SLV after the success of the SLV program. I also 
became the director of two projects, Project Devil and Project Valiant. After working for two decades in ISRO, I was appointed as the CEO of Integrated Guided Missile Development Program IGMDP. I was responsible for the development and operationalization of Agni and Prithvi missiles. This is also on me the title Missile Man of India. I was scientific advisor to the Defense Minister of India between 1992 and 1999 when India went ahead with the nuclear explosion at Pokhran. I supervised the Pokhran 2 exclusion as the CEO of DRDO. My contribution to the country has been tremendous given a new direction and trust to several breakthrough te technologies. Hello children, now we use wireless technology like the radio, TV, internet which is one of my inventions. Yes children, I am Dr. Jagdish Chandra Bose, Indian scientist of 18th century. I have pioneered the investigation of radio and microwave option. I was the first scientist to discover that plants are living beings and have similar life cycles and functions like animals. I had done significant contributions in botany. As a biophysicist, I invented the crispograph, an instrument for measuring the growth of plants. I was the first person who filed for patent for one of my innovations. IEEE named me as father of radio science. I am also considered the father of Bengali science fiction. I wrote many books on science. I put my experiments, innovations open to all so that other people also use the same path. I knew it. I founded Bose Institution. It was my first interdisciplinary research center in Asia. I was honored by giving my name to crater on the moon. So students, keep researching in science. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce you to my scientist friends who will show their experiments. I am sure all of you will enjoy watching them. Hello friends, today I am performing a small but a fun experiment. The materials which we need are a small dish, candle, matchbox, colored water and empty gas. First, take a dish and fill it with colored water. After that, place a candle in it. Help, I will light the candle. After lighting the candle, place an empty glass over the top of the candle. After this, now let me tell you what exactly happened. The flame uses up the oxygen in the glass, creating low pressure. Atmospheric pressure then tries to force its way in. 
because the water at the base of the glass has created an air tight seal the pressure difference between the inside and outside of the glass causes the water to rise until the pressure inside the glass is equal to the pressure outside the glass thank you hello friends today i will perform a small experiment so let's enjoy it for this experiment i will use a plastic rod a piece of cloth and an empty can first i will rub this rod with this cloth for one minute I will keep this can on the table. Now I will bring this rod close to the can. I will not touch the rod to the can. I will only hold one inch above the can. Now you will think how did the can move without me moving it did i do some magic no the can started moving because when i rubbed the rod with the cloth it created static electricity the rod was negatively charged and the can was positively charged hence the can attracted to the rod so we learned from this experiment that opposite charges attract each other and similar charges repel each other as the can was positively charged and the rod was negatively charged they attracted each other hope you all enjoyed this small experiment thank you hi everyone today i would like to show you all a experiment on magnets and magnetism for this experiment the materials required by us is a strong magnet a paper clip thread cello tape and a pair of safety scissors we need to keep all these materials ready on a flat table the first step is to cut a piece of thread the thread should be not too long it should be approximately of this length then we have to attach a piece of cello tape to one end of a thread and stick it on the table like this now we have to tie the other end of the thread to the paper clip like this then we have to spread the thread now we use our magnet to attract the paper clip due to magnetism magnet attracts a paper clip the next step of the experiment is to hold the paper clip vertically like this now we have to hold our magnet like this keeping a small distance between magnet and paper clip then you can leave the paper clip as it is now you can see that the paper clip is floating in the air This happened because of magnetism property of a magnet. A magnet attracts a metal towards itself due to magnetism. Even though gravity was pulling the paper clip down, 
But magnetism acting on the metal paper clip is stronger than gravity pulling the paper clip. Hence, paper clip flows in the air. Thank you. Evidence is like a clue that something is true. Scientists collect evidence through observations and experiments. Scientists use evidence to understand the world around us. Around us. We need evidence to help us support our ideas. The more evidence we have, the stronger our idea is. Experiments